crew all set to do the honors, and we are underway from Atlanta. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Niners take over first and 10. their own 22 yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. to the defensive effort of Grady Jarrett. Second and 14. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And this is going to be back-to-back -back tackles for a loss here as the Falcons' defense yet again drops him behind the line. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. To throw is Garoppolo. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. He's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Oh. Here we go on fourth down with Garoppolo. Taking a shot for Samuel. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And to return this time, we'll go out to the 42-yard line. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared, but I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later.
Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 42. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. A gain of three, second down. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Second down, this is Gurley. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Brings up third and one. So probably should have opted for the touchback. Niners take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They had the interception last time and led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. The ball carry. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. And that will fall. Complete. First quarter. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Here's Moster. And the running lane's non existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative. Well, you know me, because it's easy to set up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the road. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Touchdown, 49ers. Raheem Mostert 
70 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Mitch Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Takes this about five yards deep. but definitely not in your own red zone. <laughs> in your own red zone, it's heightened, isn't it? Because you're almost automatically giving up a score and the momentum, and everything just changes for your team. Yeah, so the kickoff fumble, that great field position. Across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Gold with the extra point, and that'll make this a six-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will not be fielded. It's a touchback and comes out to the 25. 25-yard line. out there for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And that'll set them back five. tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Here's Ryan. And he's got it in. Calvin Ridley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Now Ryan. It's complete to LeBron Treadwell. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 25-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Ready, ready. 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Brought a tackle there by Richard Sherman. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 25-yard line. That flag's come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. So that'll back him up five. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Now it's Gurley. That'll get them some of what they needed, but they're still left here with a third and nine forthcoming. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. him in the backfield here, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They come up again here, third and goal. It's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. At the 33-yard line. On second and seven. Garoppolo, man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. On first and ten, it's Moster. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Time for a break. We've hit half.